rolling. World, you know what it is. You see the sign, you see who's here. Nate Pool, Monsters Living Room. We're live in Nashville, Tennessee. And we are here with the one and only. Alex Fetbroth, Betty baby. Alex Fetbroth. <laughs> now, it's been a long time coming since we've implemented the living room. I've, been, I've had the pleasure and the honor of sitting down with a whole host of faculty. And we've touched on topics from style to dance education to this to that. It's been a beautiful impl implementation and uh, I've been looking forward to finally sitting down and chopping it up with this man. But we're not just here to talk it up about anything. No. We're not just here to just shoot the breeze, you know, see how you're feeling. We actually, uh, we made an announcement recently yeah. here at Monsters Dance. If you don't know, the Monsters show is kind of a big deal here at Monsters Dance. And each year we need a director, a leader, right? We need, we need the, the fearless, bold leader, a director of this show. And we announced that director for the 2024 Monsters show. Who is the director for the 24 Monsters show? Ah, I wonder. Huh. Huh. I think it's Alex Fetbra. <laughs> hey. Sitting down with the man, Alex Fetbroth, Monster Show Let's Director. Go. How does that hit your ear? Does it resonating yet? Is it surreal? Is yeah, it I, I was just gonna say surreal has been the word. Mm -hmm. I think this has been something I've always wanted to do and the fact that we're actually here, um, I'm just absolutely mind blown and insanely honored. Really. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, listen, man, it's uh, student, nominee, cast member, faculty member, show director. That's like, I mean, that's the full monster's orbit. For right sure. There. That's the full circle and rarefied air. Yeah. I mean, you're joining the ranks of uh, some greats that, yeah. have, that have come back and actually completed that full circle. No, definitely. Right? Um, what is that? I mean, put that into words for me, man. Talk, talk us through a little bit of that, of that journey, hitting all those five stages, student all the way up to now show director. Yeah, I think, um, I think I'm one of the one of the many people, but definitely an example of someone who grew up in the monster system, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, I mean, coming here years ago, I mean, that was probably back in like 2000, <laughs> I'm gonna really date myself, but mm -hmm. 2004, 2005, um, you know, this was the, it was my, the best experience I ever had with anything when it came to dance. It was a place that I always felt like I belonged and, you know, being on that journey, this always gave me something to work towards. So um, just one, just being in the classroom, that the base of it was just the training, you know? Yeah. And then obviously aspiring to do this as a career, that was very much in the forefront. And yeah, I mean, wanting to get the show, that was a huge dream of mine. I got nominated three times on the third time I got it. Yep. And you know, that was, that was its own thing. Cause it's one of those examples in life. You make it to the new checkpoint, but then you have to deliver in that checkpoint. Yeah. So getting the show, that meant the world to me. And then, yeah, when I actually got to start teaching here, that was, it was incredible. I mean, you know, it's, like getting- it's, it's hard to put into words. Yeah. It, re it really is. It really is. And getting to be among so many peers and people that I look up to as well too, especially when A-List was starting, yeah. you know, like getting to be alongside Andy J or getting to, you know, be alongside Laura. Like she used to walk me through a, a, a lot of uh, of like many talks when we were at the convention when I was just a student back yeah. in the day, just as a, as a peer and a friend. And, yeah. you know, and then obviously, you know, getting to teach alongside, you know, people like Marty and Rhapsody, like that meant the absolute world to me. So, um, and there's a, there's a special reverence, I think, those of us who have seen the program from the, uh, being an inception as a student, right? Yeah. Um, seeing the program all the way through and then coming back, when you take that step onto that stage as a faculty member, there's just such a reverence and a weight. Oh, to for life. sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you know what it did for you, you just named some absolute legends yeah. that have graced that stage, right? And yeah. for so many years, we were on the floor looking at them you know, just, it, you know, with a drive, with a dream and ready to work, work for it. So to have that moment on stage is, is one thing. Yeah. And now, like I said, from the faculty member, now putting the director hat It's on. so crazy. Yeah, like I, I still at times, you know, I, it, it's insane. Like I still look up to these people so yes. much. I mean, I, I even saw Marty the other day was teaching my love and you know, I, I, 
he was doing this in LA the other day and, and I still get that feeling because I'm just such a fan of people like him and a fan of dance and the art form mm -hmm. and what that choreography did mm -hmm. at that time and the effect it had on so many people. Generation. Generate, you know, like generations. And the fact that it still has that effect on me, even when I see someone like that as teacher, I'm like, man, I still want to get in there. So again, a lot, being able to even get to teach or be in the same breath of, as, as some of these people, it's, you know, it's absolutely, it's it's actually mind blowing, you know? Yeah. And and now with the show, you know, I, I this this past year getting to do it, this was my seventh time getting to choreograph in the show. You know, one, one of the times I got to co-choreograph a piece with Tatiana Parker, who, Shout out, Tati, Shout out Tati, 2010, you know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> Alumni, but um, yeah, but even being on that journey, I actually still can't even believe sometimes, I was going over that the other day, I was like, wow, I can't believe, you know, like getting the show was one thing, but getting to choreograph on the show seven times was, it's just, I'm just insanely grateful. And so let me ask you, how do you feel like your experiences with, um, with choreographing and adding work to different shows. And I know in recent years, you've had a lot, you've had your hand in a lot of the show process and yeah. being around for a lot of it. How has, how is all of that going to inform you taking the reins now as director? Yeah, I think I, the first word I would use is experience. You know, um, I've had so much experience now in, so many different facets of the show as far as just being a choreographer and just learning like you know that's uh, when I was first starting I remember that was the first time I got asked it was on a on a short notice and it was under nappy tabs and that was when we were doing the warehouse shows and then from there you know so it was like getting to work with them that was one experience and then when Rhapsody came in you know getting to work under her for a while and then um you know, seeing how that process was and seeing how she put on a show. And that was, you know, just getting getting that experience, just seeing all of that was crazy. And I remember, who else was it? Like Charlo and Robert when they did theirs. Yeah, 2019. Yeah, it's just, as far as like getting to work with all these different kind of people, um, as, as a choreographer, you know, you want to meet the director's needs and each show had a different theme or concept, right. different staging, things that needed to be, you know, different tasks that needed to be called upon. Yeah. And um, so I got to learn a lot through that process, yeah. you know, and then getting to help out Luther and uh, Nick as well, like, you know, um, last year was the craziest thing I'd ever experienced just because of the logistics that went into yeah. the the Brooklyn venue, you right. know, so right. um, again, I've, I've just been super so bits and pieces from all of those. Experiences. Yeah, 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 you just yeah. yeah, you just learn how to work with so many different people and right. you know, everything every year is always different. So now I, I feel that I have this is the perfect time to do it because I just feel that I'm as confident as ever mm. with this. You know, mm. I'm ready to go. And um, we have such a great team of people here too. Like yeah. I, that's another thing that I feel super supported and you know, and I, and I love the people that we get to work with, Absolutely. you know, so. So we're not gonna be able, we're not at liberty to give away too much, but uh -huh. in more general terms, what can we expect from a Fetty show? I mean, because you 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 are uh, you have so much to offer. You're so beautifully unique and in and an individual. And I just you know so many people. I think that's what you're you're the light that so many people are drawn to ah, with you. Thank you. It's just it's it's authentic. It's you. Um, and so I know a lot of people. You know, and I saw on the post it was beautiful to see all these comments of everyone just being like, "Yo, this is gonna be crazy." <laughs> yeah, that was so. In generally, so nice. can so we nice. give the people just a little like what what can we expect from a 2024 monster show from? I would say what you're going to expect from my show or our show yeah. is it's going to be a journey and it's just going to be a full journey the whole way through. Um, I think it's going to be, I was using the word experience as well too, yeah. but just in a different way. I think truly the my main goal for this entire thing is going to be between myself, the cast, the choreographers, the staff, and the audience. I want everyone to feel a full experience and that we're all truly in it together and as one. That's what I really want this to be. Um, yeah, like, because the one thing that I've noticed, going back to what you were saying earlier, 
about the Monsters experience and getting to work on, on many of the different shows is the, the, the biggest part that can never be overlooked is how many people it really takes to put on this thing. And, you know, and that, that goes all the way down from, you know, admin to, you know, LT, helping out with the stage, like every single person, you know, I mean, village. yeah, you know, and again, even with all that, that Andy J does behind the scenes, it's like insane, you know, and, uh, Everyone, I, and even honestly, and I, I was gonna say something tomorrow when I'm gonna teach, but I'm already just gonna tell you now, even the energy that you bring Man. to this whole experience, and I keep using experience, you yeah. know, but well, I, it, it, I keep saying, it's, I'm using that a lot, but really like, everyone. Short word, but a lot to d digest there. Yeah, yeah everything, yeah. Every, every single part of this, uh, every single part of Monsters, it, it just, Everyone is what makes this whole thing what it is and the energy what it is and why so many people keep coming back. So Absolutely. And you do such a phenomenal job with that as My well, man, brother. I appreciate so that. The preparation really, is always there. Thank and, you, ma'am. You know. Thank you. Well, I can, honestly, I know I'm not alone when I say yeah. we are all anticipate, anticipating uh, thank you. And, and can't wait to see what you cook up, man. Thank 2024. You. Uh, you keeping that, that kid in slide two. Yeah, yeah. Keeping, keeping that kid keeping in that slide kid, two. Keeping that kid from slide yes, two, doing yes. it for him. Yes, thank you, brother. Congratulations, fam. Thank you. We can't wait. Appreciate it. 2024 Monster Show, be there. Yeah.